So I've been getting a lot of really great questions on this video and I wanted to make sure I addressed all of them because they're pretty important. So this one says, I have read that even after hysterectomy, abnormal cells can be found and that you should still have your screenings. So it depends on a couple of things. It depends on your pap smear or your cervical cancer screening history, as well as the type of hysterectomy you've had. So if your cervix has been removed and you've had a normal cervical cancer screening, then no, you don't still have to have screenings. Certain types of HPV can cause changes on the vagina, but it's still not recommended if your screening was normal before to continue to do that. If your cervix is still present, and you are below 65, then yes, you still get regular screenings like if you never had a hysterectomy at all. So you would follow those guidelines. If you've had a cervical cancer screening history that is abnormal, then yes, you may continue to need screening. It all depends on what the abnormality was, how long ago, what follow-up you had, what treatment. So it starts to get a little bit complicated, but that will be a situation where you would continue screening regardless of if you have a cervix or not and you know you've had a hysterectomy so um it's a little bit beyond a tiktok video to go through all these scenarios but that will be the only time that would be necessary so i hope that helps let me know if you have any other questions in the comments and as always make sure to like and follow for more